fear. Confusion. Is this all you know? Can you even begin to answer the riddle of how you came to this world? Fear not, children. Though most of you will not live to see it, the truth shall be revealed. And you will know that I am a wise and generous God, that I only wish to complete you, and that I do this in the name of love. Something wrong? What? Oh, nothing. Just that same old feeling. Not that again. You've been saying someone's watching us since the day we got here. Why can't you just admit you're scared like the rest of us? Ahoy, Pest! Show yourself! Get down! And bring that fat trove of food with you! Don't! He's not normal. You saw what he can do. At ease, Ida. You're about to learn the first rule of combat. Huh? Wait here. You'll see. Hi, guy. How's the hand? You're changing that bandage every day? Bring the food now! And perhaps I'll not have your wits for dessert! What's going on? The pest is about to get himself killed. Hate to disappoint you, Lefty, but we don't have any food. Liar! How else could John Baby still live after a fortnight in this hell? Give up the grub, or I roast the child instead. Will you now? Have we already forgotten the last time you fired up your five-fingered barbecue? Ouch. Don't feel embarrassed. I mean, nothing in this place seems to work right. The stars are black. The rain falls up. First rule of combat. Firepower is useless if you can't direct it. And it's hard to aim when you're out cold. Am I right? Yeah. Do you ever steal your tongue? Yeah! Burn him! Ha! Behold! My hand of glory is restored! The witch fire no longer turns against me! Mr. Kane, are you trying to scare me to death? Shoulda known he'd have a thick brain bucket. Nightwall! Ah, oh, Bohica. Not again! Not again! It's okay, Mr. Kane. Don't ask me how long it took, but the night walls passed. Oh, God! It took Barty! It always takes someone. Evanly. What? I have to speak with Evanly. I think I know why we were brought here. Mr. Kane, please! Haven't you been through enough today? You'd rather wait and end up like Barty? Look, it's no big deal. I just want to talk. Nobody sees Evanly! You come back again, Pest? And we'll kill you! 
Come on, Kane. Return to target. You know, I tried to warn you. Why do you always have to learn the hard way? But we're going to need her firepower. Not tonight, we won't. Find another way to reach her after you've healed. I wonder if Pralkar is still taking bets on which one of them will die first. Hmm. Place your wager on the man. I've been watching that one. He always seems to be asking for trouble. Always bringing up the Nightwall dreams when most of us would rather forget them. Always hiking too far from camp, looking for Altwall knows what, returning with only fresh wounds for his trouble. Ah, uh, that won't kill him. He'll probably just die defending his mate. The way I hear it, they're not a couple, just strangers like the rest of us. So why drag that dead weight when there are sweet young things like you around? It was a compliment! Mr. Kane, Memmi and I might be dead already if not for you. But, but the way you've been lately, I have to know. Am I pinning my hopes on a crazy... You know, I never asked for any of this. I never asked to be your guardian, and I do not have to explain myself to anyone. <laughs> Okay, okay. I'm not crazy, Zyda. I just have a lot of questions. And sometimes looking for answers gets me hurt. But that's not madness. That's recon. For starters, how did we all just happen to wake up on this rock at the exact same moment, with no idea how we got here? Why were there exactly 100 of us to begin with? And from different worlds, too. Even though most of us had no idea there were other worlds out there. Why do some of us, a lot of us, have abilities and sheer power the likes of which I've never seen? And why do those abilities tend to backfire here? Why? Everyone's been too busy with the basics, water, food, shelter, to ask these kinds of questions. I think it's crazy not to. I have to ask, what if this is all a setup? What if someone is watching? What would they learn from how we've gathered into tribes? The strong leaving us weaklings to fend for ourselves. And the strongest, as you know, rally around the most powerful being among us, Evanly. What would someone make of the way they worship her? And what about the little tests this place keeps throwing at us? Remember that lightning storm on the first day? How it actually seemed to willfully target people? It's been something else every day since. The flood, the sandstorm. Then there's the only edible plants around here. Cruel joke of nature. Or does someone want to see how far we'll go to survive? And you've seen the shooting stars at night, right? Ever notice how they go down and come up from the same spot on the horizon? I think there's a spaceport there. Or maybe an observation post for whoever stuck us here. But every time I walk there, some new obstacle just happens to be in the way. And then, there's the night wall. When it hits, there's no way to stay awake. Without it, we can't sleep if we try. Wanna take a guess why? And as for those operating room dreams... Don't. I can't talk about them. You know that. Nobody can. I've had my butt kicked three times just getting folks to admit they... Um... What? Oh. You know, where I come from, feeding a baby is regarded as a pretty natural thing. Sorry, I uh, never had kids. Not used to it. Anyhow, are you at least beginning to see a pattern behind all my questions? No, but then I'm not the one you really need to tell this to, am I? Well, if it isn't the pest. Nice spear. You the hunter or the hunted today? Funny. I was just wondering the same thing. Seven spirits. That's food. Real food. Some bilge for brains left that sitting around? Wait. Fine. Help yourselves, boys. You've earned it. It's still hot. Who could have? Shut up, but the 
concentrate. Sorry to interrupt. Say ah. Uh. Hey, tattoo guy, grab your friend and retreat. Your name is Matua. Matua, your shield trick barely works. We gotta go. They chose the ravine to ambush us. We're gonna use it to box them in. All you REMFs who can't fight, take cover! The rest of you, make a stand right here with me. Do it! He saved our lives! Steady, steady. Damn it! No! All right, who's the total moron? The name is Evanly, but surely you already knew that. And you are? Kane, great lady. My name is Obregon Kane. I'm honored. Actually, you seem displeased that I saved your worthless life. No, it's just you. We needed a prisoner. They were intelligent. They might have answered some questions. You set a low threshold for intelligent. Nevertheless, I see your point. Come, Obregon Kane. At the very least, I would know all that you know. And why control our sleep patterns with the night wall? Don't ask me. Tell me. Waste no more of my time rehashing the mysteries of this place. Stop trying to make me think like you. Just get to the point. Why do you think we are on this world? In a word, we're being tested. First, they test our survival skills. Now they send an intelligent enemy to assess our tactical capabilities. We're lab rats. And each day, someone makes us run a more difficult maze. Absurd. Who could do such a thing? Those warriors hadn't the power to cage a goddess. Next, you'll be telling me these glowworms are behind it all. No, but unlike the lampheads, those warriors aren't native to this world, or I'd have found some trace of them sooner. They were brought here. Probably from the spaceport, I said, we'll find 20 clicks to the west. Look, I've seen this sort of thing before. Back when I served with the Paladins. Paladins? The 24th Armored Air Cavalry. This whole setup, the sleep deprivation, the isolation, the med tests they do while the Night Wall has us, it's all classic psych war. It's the Black Glade Valley POW camp all over again. A military man, a soldier, but smarter than most, it would seem. You were a general, yes? I was a captain. Is that all? My kind created the universe! Why should I listen to a common foot soldier? Because generals are in the business of getting people killed. Captains like to keep theirs alive. You want to put on a parade? Go find a general. You want to fight your way home? Talk to me. Very well, Obregon Kane. But I still find it hard to accept the notion that I could ever be someone's lab rat. It is beyond insulting. Precisely my point. Now what are we going to do about it? It has come to my attention that this man, Obregon Kane, has a plan to return us all home. And though he is among the least of us in power, even a trained dog has its uses. You will all, therefore, heed his words. She's actually listening to the best? Um, thank you for that rousing introduction, Evanly. The rest of you, listen up. We have been brought here by an unseen enemy. One we must first expose, then defeat. So we can go home. Already we have an advantage because our enemy made two crucial mistakes. One, 
He or she gathered us from different worlds and cultures, thinking that our differences will keep us divided. I'm going to show you how to pool your knowledge and talents. We will become greater than the sum of our parts. Two, our enemy somehow scrambled the special abilities that many of you have, but he left intact those of the Lady Evanly. Her power is our key to victory. Evanly! Evanly! The battle plan is simple. Phase one, we march to the horizon, to the enemy spaceport. Phase two, we scout the facility. Phase three, we steal a ship or two. Nightfall! No, not now! So you were listening in, you devious son of Wake up, all of you! Get to your feet! You are all prisoners of the negation! You will all fall into ranks for roll call. Any deviation from instructions is punishable by death. Prisoners? Who are you? What did we ever do? Guards! Any more questions? This is worse than before. We were just asking for trouble, gathering like that. It's your fault! All that talk about exposing the enemy! Mission accomplished, genius. What do you call this phase of your battle plan? A good start. <laughs> 